So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna finalize and put on the strut and the rudder in the hydroplane. And uh, we thought we'd show you how to do that and also what we use to bed that kind of stuff. All the hardware we bed with Boat Life, Life Caulk. And so uh, that's what we use. Cause if we ever have to take it off, we can get it off. You don't wanna use 5200, uh, that sticks a little bit too much. So. Um, yeah, let's get going. So we got everything, I think. We got the nuts, the washers. These are double nutted on here. Uh, on that Amara report, they said there was eight nuts. So that tells me that they were double nutted. I would think so. So washers, double nuts. Um, we'll bed that up, get the strut on first. What kind of bolts are these? Uh, they're just like a flat head. You don't see them very often, although the Cobra had the same ones. Um, but yeah, usually they're a carriage bolt, you know, with one of the little tabs right. left on there, ground off with one tab left on so they don't spin in the strut. But these are a little different. These are the flathead straight slot ones that came on this boat. Cool. Don't know why. Less drag. There you go. Faster. Yeah, faster boat. So just found out that the battery charge broke. That's why the batteries are all dead. All right, this time are we ready? Did you do the back ones? Yep, yeah, I did all of them. Do the back starboard side. All right. Let's turn it around the right way. Yeah, that's that's better.
All right, so he's got them tightened in. We've double nut them and washer inside. Uh, I'm gonna let this squeeze out, which it went really well. Squeeze out all the way around, even around the heads of the bolts. So we're gonna keep it like that. Uh, I'll clean up this later. Uh, I don't wanna make a big mess trying to wipe it up. It'll dry and I'll be able to just scrape that excess uh, life caulk right off of there, so. hitting there though, isn't it? That, that's not right. But, yeah, the more you push down on that, the more it's going to put that in the air. Yeah. Hmm. Now you got me I'm confused. But, hold on here. There's something to help me. So, pretty interesting what we found here is that this is the old one of that down there. And what we found that we thought that might have been a hole for a shifter or something, wiring or something. Now that we're looking at it, it looks like a knot. A knot was on there and it fell out. Could be. See how drastic of an angle it is? For sure. Like a knot. So this would be your steering one, this would be your shifting one, and then the wire would go through that, any wire that needs to go through. Well, th this would be also uh, your tack. That's what that is. So tack, steering, shifter. Not. Not. Not supposed to be no. there. Do we have a hole down there at all? No. No. So we need a hole saw, and you'll put it right at the base of this. Yep. And that hole saw needs to be that big. Okay. You can even do like a force nut maybe. <laughs> This whole thing's got to come off. Then we can lay it down flat and straight. So the struggle's real. So sometimes what you got to do is go backwards a little bit to go forward. Couldn't get the steering rod in there with that block for the steering box. 
on there, so I had to remove it. Um, so that's the best thing to do, is just remove what's in your way and move on. Look at the H. Look at that. Yeah, they made an H out of the ones. One, one, one. So he had the one in his hand and didn't want to get out of the boat. Let's go get the H stamp. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get the block back in there. You, need, you got a hammer in there? I got a hammer. All right. If you got a hammer, you can fix it. Busted. Well, there you go. I think was, we got another one. It was meant for a meant reason. Meant to be. Uh, yep. Okay. Yep, I'll grab another one. Perfect. forget is that little notch where that bolt goes Stuffing nut is tight enough, and the lock nut is tight. Good. Yep. So one of the things you got to make sure on this end, also on the end for the engine, is that on one side it has threads on it. And so what it goes, it doesn't, it goes the other way, it'll go through there, and then when you put a nut on there, it acts like a lock, and it locks it so it won't back out. Very important to get that right. Jam 
nut, and you're all set. Same way with this one. You want that thing snug. That's what the jam nut's for. You don't want it so snug that there's any resistance here. You just don't want any play back and forth. There we go. That's perfect. All right. Shifter's in and ready. That's good. We're ready to get the engine in now. Let's put this floorboard in. Okay. And hopefully I cut that hole out right. Hopefully. It should go like that. Sits All right. There we go. All right. That uh, was a little bit of what we do in a day. Zach and I worked through some issues uh, with the steering rod, getting that in there, but that went okay. So we installed the strut we installed the rudder and then the rudder steering rod itself that hooks to the rudder and then uh, made connection to the steering box and then also put the shifting rod in there and hook that up because we need that in there before we put the engine on because the engine kind of goes over the top of that uh, stay tuned for that that's going to be happen we'll probably get the engine in about maybe uh, two weeks so uh, we're just going to touch it up and put it into the boat. So it'll, it's brand new. It's all been redone. So if you are working on your own boat and uh, you need some supplies, there is a website that I have, and I will put the uh, web page down in the, in the description below. It's always down in the description below. And then also it's right down here if you're interested. And that just has a lot of materials and tools that we use around the shop. That is an affiliated link, uh, so I make a little bit off of each of that, and so if you order through that, I greatly appreciate it. If you want to help support financially, that's uh, the Patreon, and thank you so much to all my Patreon customers. I greatly appreciate it, and it does help put these videos out. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you back here.